Welcome to a Win Air video of the Gordie Howe Bridge. In this February 2025 flyover of the Gordie Howe International Bridge, opening day is only about eight months away. It is exciting, but we're not just celebrating a new connection between Canada and the US. We're honoring a century of teamwork and success. We have faced conflicts between our two countries before and came out the other side stronger and better neighbors. The current disputes over tariffs, we can only hope, will settle with comparable results. For over a century, our two nations have stood shoulder to shoulder, facing challenges that seemed insurmountable. From the battlefields of World War II to the economic uncertainties of the Great Depression, we've proved that together we are stronger. Our history is packed with joint efforts, showing how we stuck together through tough times. We built NORAD, signed free trade deals, and kept strong diplomatic ties. Presidents and Prime Ministers may come and go, but the friendship between our nations endures. While the bridge's construction timeline remains on track, the tariffs could potentially increase costs for materials and labour. The project has already seen a budget increase from $5.7 billion to $6.4 billion due to pandemic-related delays. Any additional costs from tariffs could further strain the project's finances. Once open, the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority will receive all toll revenues from the Gordie Howe Bridge. However, the tariffs could complicate this arrangement. If trade volumes decrease due to higher costs, toll revenues might be lower than projected. Conversely, if the Bridge Authority attempts to offset increased costs by raising tolls, it could further discourage cross-border trade. The Windsor-Detroit Corridor manages approximately 25% of all trade between Canada and the United States. The new bridge is expected to facilitate and potentially increase this volume. However, Trump's tariffs could significantly alter trade patterns and volumes. Michigan, as a border state with an economy closely intertwined with Canada, is particularly vulnerable to these tariffs. The state's auto industry, which relies heavily on cross-border supply chains, could be disproportionately affected. The cost of goods in Michigan, from gasoline to groceries, could rise if imports are taxed. The proposed tariffs have raised concerns on both sides of the border. Worries about increased costs for consumers and disruptions to supply chains and the potential chilling effect on trade. The recent deal between Trudeau and Trump was good news. While a 30-day reprieve from the tariffs might provide temporary relief, it is unlikely to be sufficient to address the long-term implications. The complex supply chain and trade relations between the U.S. and Canada have developed over decades, and a month is truly a brief time to make significant adjustments. The question is if Canada can fulfill the bargain with a stalled, failing government. Our history tells us that fair trade and mutual prosperity will prevail. The Gordie Howe Bridge stands as a testament to our enduring partnership, a symbol of the connections that cannot be severed by political winds or economic fluctuations. President Franklin D. Roosevelt knew it back in 1938 when he said our strategic alliance is key. Greed, corruption, manipulation, and political bias threaten the stability of our nations in 2025. Still, the light shines bright for our respective countries. The path ahead is never easy, but if we stick together, morally sound, it will pass like pebbles beneath our feet. Canada and the U.S. are more than neighbors. We're friends, family, allies, and partners. This bridge over the Detroit River is a marker of our bright, shared future. As solid as the steel holding it up, despite differences, our bond stays strong. 
Together we've accomplished amazing things, and we'll keep building a North America that's a beacon for hope, prosperity, and unity for the world. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.